Hi, I'm Dr. David Wallace, and today we're going to improve your tone, relax your bow arm, and increase your bow control with a simple exercise called the five minute bow. I learned the five minute bow from the great Joseph Gingold, who was the teacher of Joshua Bell, Miriam Freed, Joseph Silverstein, and many other wonderful violinists. Gingold was quite a violinist himself. He was concert master of the Cleveland Orchestra for many years under the great conductor George Zell, and he was also concert master of the Detroit Symphony, and also played in the NBC Symphony under Arturo Toscanini. So he wasn't just a teacher, he was also an excellent top notch player. So, for the five minute bow, what you do is you take a timer or a clock. I've got a little gym timer that has a set to five minutes plus a little extra. And you set it and you do a down bow for five minutes. Okay, here we go. I've got my timer. I'm going to set it off. Whoops. Set it where I can see it. And here we go, five minutes. So you set your bow right at the very frog. And this is a relaxation exercise. This is something Gangled used to do at the end of his orchestral rehearsals as a way of just kind of getting the tension out of his arm and resetting everything. So the idea is everything is relaxed, everything is in contact, but the bow is in constant motion. I like to do this with clocks that have second hands where you can actually see the second hand moving, but not in a jerky way, but in a very smooth, continuous fashion, because that reminds me that's how my arm is supposed to be moving, always in motion, always in contact with the string. Now you may notice that my fingers and my elbow look different from the way they look when I'm normally playing. That's because... I'm not trying to make a tone, I'm just trying to relax the arm. So the elbow, I'm letting the weight hang. The fingers, I'm also just resting. And as you bow, you just want to keep checking in on yourself. We're at one minute, so we're doing pretty good with the distribution. And so check in, see how your thumb's doing. Make sure your thumb is loose, your thumb is free. How are your fingers doing? Check out your knuckles. The knuckles of my bow hand are kind of pinkish or brownish. That's good. You want your knuckles to be pink or brown because that means the blood's flowing and there's not a lot of tension. If you see white, nim white uh, knuckles or you see tendons popping out, that means you're gripping your bow. Let go of it. Check in on your right shoulder. Notice how my right shoulder is dropped. It is relaxed. It is not raised. There's no tension there. While you're at it, check in on your left shoulder. Yeah, make sure your left shoulder is free. Mine was a little tight. And you can see here these creaks. That's about the only sound your bow's going to make. It'll be a little bit creaky. And I usually have my fingers up here kind of to rest against the instrument so that it doesn't feel like I'm having to work to support the instrument, but also to kind of mute the string so that it doesn't annoy me with uh, sounds I don't want to hear. And we're right at a minute, uh, sorry, we're right at two and a half minutes. And we're right at the midpoint of the bow, so that's good distribution. When I first tried this exercise, someone had told me about it, and it was before I'd met Gingold. I tried it, I lasted about 30 odd seconds. And then the second time, it was two and a half minutes. And then the third time, I was able to do five minutes on the nose. So if you're not able to do it right off the bat, just keep working on it. And it's not essential that you always do five minutes. Sometimes if I have a little less time, I'll maybe do a two-minute bow, or sometimes even just a minute and a half of setting the arm and letting it relax into the string. That's the other thing, is you always want to feel constant contact with that string. Okay, we're under two minutes. And again, keep the constant motion. Check in on your wrist. Is your wrist unlocked? Is your wrist free? Check in on that thumb. How's your thumb doing? If your thumb is opposing your fingers, release it. And if your bow is bouncing just a little bit from the, the pressure, not the pressure, but if it's bouncing just a little bit in reaction to the string, or not so much bouncing, but vibrating, that's a good thing. That's not bad. 
you know, it's, don't worry about it. This is an exercise that I also like to do before I go on stage. It's a good way to settle your arm. I know some of us have had the situation where the bow bounces on the stage and that's one of people's greatest fears is that the bow will bounce and shake because of nerves. Well, I'm telling you, if you do this five minute bow, that problem is either going to disappear or become very inconsequential because even if there's a little shakiness, you've got that control. Down to 30 seconds and we're right at the last tenth of the bow. And by the way, breathe when you're doing this. It's very easy to hold your breath. Keep making sure that your breath is flowing and that you're moving. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We made it. And when you're done, take a deep breath, roll your shoulders, let your arms hang a little bit, then take your instrument up and enjoy your bow. Suddenly your bow will feel much longer, you feel every millimeter of your bow, your tone will be round and full, and you know that part of the bow where the frog feels so uncomfortable? Well now, it's actually much more comfortable, easier to balance. Same thing at the tip. If you're keeping your wrist free and flowing, keeping your fingers loose, then the tip's also going to be comfortable. And so those are some bonuses. A couple of other things about this exercise, if you're a violinist or violist, I recommend doing it on one of your two highest strings. So either your D string and A string if you're a violist, or your A string and E string if you're a violinist. If you're a cellist and bassist and want to try this, you probably want to do it on your lowest string. You know, so that you keep your arm, so that it's not like your shoulder is over, but you want to kind of keep feeling the gravity. The other thing is if you're a cellist and bassist, you might not want to go all the way to the tip. You know, just to, to let your arm hang down, let the blood flow, and keep things relaxed. So that's the five minute bow. I'll look forward to sharing you another secret in my next video. Take care.